Hey guys, ever wondered where do I fit into this company? So nowhere. <laughs> what I mean by that is I don't want you to come to work fitting into the company. That's or taking things for granted or like I come to work tomorrow and I know who my people are. I'm, I expect this person to be there, expect this to be done for me, expect these hours of work get rid of all your expectations. I want you to come to work with clean eyes, fresh eyes every single day. What does that mean? Clean eyes, fresh eyes every single day. That means, um, I'm not sure if you can see my full screen or what I'm sharing. Um, but really we're looking at, okay. Um, I hope you can see this as I flick through it. We are looking at chaos versus order. So every day you come to work, you're looking for some kind of order. Like I want to be able to rely on something. And then some days there's chaos everywhere. I want you to sort of harness both of these perspectives, these mental frameworks. Sometimes it's chaos, sometimes it's order. So, um, okay, so you come to work and you're like, okay, I'm living in chaos. I don't know where I fit into the company. Good. What I want you to ask yourself is, where can I be valuable? What does the company need? Where can I add value to the organization so that it can progress and I can maximize the organization's output and my output at that given time? And then hope that everyone notices and you get rewarded accordingly. So chaos is a good thing. So, And then sometimes you're looking for order. Order is who can I rely on? Who's going to be there tomorrow? What's the company objectives? Um, and all the things that you expect to be in order. But I want you to sort of take the perspective sometimes that yes, there's order and there's procedures and there's a product to have. We can't change our product every day. Otherwise, there will never be a chance to fix our systems and get paid for us from the clients if we're changing our product every day. But at the same time, we have a time and place for systems and things we take for granted and what your role is and how you fit into the system. But that's also the biggest barrier. The biggest barrier is if you have won a lot of times and a lot of gold medals, um, then when you go into the next training session, you're not going to be that motivated to try scary new things um, because you're like, oh, well, I'm already the best as, as it is. You know? um, so I don't want to get into that rut where you, I want you to ask, well, if this was day one, if this is the first day in the business, my first day here, my first, and I'm right at the bottom of the barrel, what would I do? How would I approach this? How would I think about things? That's what I want you to walk in with every single day, fresh eyes and question everything that we have. Like, how could I do this better? Could we try this system? What if we tried this mental model? What if we tried this modeling? And... And then once we create a new wonderful way of doing things, then we have to apply it. Then it goes back into order. Everything is back into order. Everybody has a place. Everyone's happy. But then we have to sort of purposely create chaos within our mind to say, yes, this is much better than it used to be. But what if we tried this? And then you create some chaos in your own mind that would create all these kind of unknown factors and we would not know what our roles and jobs are, but it's that kind of thinking that keeps us progressing to better and better ways of doing things. It's like being an, if you're a child, if you have a child that's nine years old, the child is going to change and grow and evolve and need have new needs. So if you act and you may have the perfect system for your nine year old child and everything's in order, but if you keep acting like that to us when they turn 13, it's no longer going to work. It's a different the circumstances have changed, the child has changed, the world has changed. Same with business, it changes every single day. So what is orderly and where you're, where you fit into this order personally will change every day. If you pretend like it's going to be the same all the time, the business will suffer. You know what I mean? You may feel peaceful inside, but the business will suffer. So you have to be willing to put yourself in a chaotic mindset where you're like, where you question everything that we have right now and like, what's a better way to do things? And 
eventually, you know, as your mind thinks of better ways to do things, then you will um, come back to the team and then we'll try it. And hopefully that improves everything that we're doing in the business. So chaos is not your enemy. It is your friend. Whenever chaos comes your way, ask, okay, this is chaotic. What opportunities are there in this chaos? What can I see that I haven't seen in the past? Where can I be valuable right now? What does the company need to achieve its vision? So chaos is good. But then chaos in, in places where you need order, like you need, you know, the client, once they're buying a product with us, needs order. It needs, the client needs a clear quote, a clear way to pay, a clear way to what's its warranties, what's its terms and conditions, right? So if you're changing the product every day, you're not going to have all these, you're not going to have something clear for the client. So yes, we need a clear product right now, but we also every day come to work like it's day one, a day one mentality. Like this is my first day at work. This is a brand new business. All my victories of the past are, are the victories of the past. Today, in this given moment, what does day one look like? So what we're trying to do is use this tool called your brain to maximize our time. It's a, Your brain is a technology. You're evolving the technology. It's thinking. And then while we're at work, we're trying to maximize and get the best out of our brain to get, give the, get the best out of the world. Um, so if you're you know, a hundred years ago, living on a farm, working with your parents, that's a very, everyone's looking for order. They're looking for, okay, when is the seasons? When is the plants going to grow? When do I do this? They're looking for order. They're looking, they're trying to reduce the amount of chaos as much as possible because it's the same thing every single year, every single time. And then there might be a storm. There might be a, you know, problems that, um, there might be a disease in the crops and it leads to chaos, right? And then you've got to try to solve that chaos. But you don't necessarily look for chaos in that situation unless you want to evolve the plant, make a better version of the plant, and then you try different genetic um, ways of mixing different plants to try to make a stronger plant. That's chaos, right? You're trying to improve the situation. And up till now, there's a very strong um, either chaos or um, order is not inherently good or bad, but you as a human of the modern world have been programmed to think that order is better than chaos because up till now, if you worked in a job or a factory up until, you know, and depending on your role, a lot of roles require a lot of order. You know, you pack the box, you put it into place, you pack the shelf and you, everything is orderly, right? So there's a, there's a, there's a bias towards your brain being overly wanting order. I want to a secure job. That's what you want. But that security means that you can't be creative. You can't think of great ideas. You can't help the company progress, right? So you have to differentiate your personal security that I need order in my life and need order in my thinking versus the company needs to progress and stay in touch with the every day the world is changing. So it needs chaos, right? So you have to go, okay, if I were to think of this great idea, it's going to create chaos in my department. It's going to create chaos in my job role. I, do I want that personally? Probably not because I prefer order. But you're going to have to force yourself to step outside of your um, thinking and go, okay, well, this is going to create some mental anguish for me. It's going to create some disorderness for me. I'm not going to be completely at peace, but it may lead us to a great improvement in the way we run the organization so it leads to a better product for the customer.